Hello, Creative Gems. Welcome to Creativity. How is everyone today? I'm Sandy, and today I'm going to show you how to transform a children's set of Hot Wheels racetrack from the dollar store into a beautiful, elegant lantern. To begin, I will show you the materials, and unless otherwise stated, all the materials are from the Dollar Tree or Dollarama. First, we will need two sets of the Dollar Tree Hot Wheels race tracks. These are made of plastic and are very flexible. We will also need a small to medium sized cardboard box cover, like this one, which used to hold chocolates. If you don't have any on hand, you can substitute for a similar sized picture frame from the dollar store. We will also be using a small round frameless mirror, but if you are not able to find one, this item is actually optional for this project. We will also be using some craft paper. This one has a nice pattern with silver glitter. An alternative is to find any nice contact paper of your choice. For further embellishments, we can choose from an assortment of clear diamond wrap, either from Amazon or the Crop It sticker version found at the Dollar Tree, along with some mini mirror tiles and some clear round or square rhinestone gem stickers. We will also need one large acrylic diamond gem, four smaller ones, as well as four ornament caps detached from the ornament. I'll show you later how I use them. To help us with today's craft project, we will be using some white glue or in my case some leftover white primer from my local hardware store. We will also be using clear tacky glue and our handy dandy hot glue gun. Mine was purchased from Amazon. To begin, we will paint the two sets of race tracks until none of the orange color shows through. This will take a few coats to ensure an opaque finish. And while we work on this, I would like to take a moment to thank all the returning viewers to my channel for tuning in for today's craft project. If you are visiting for the first time, I would like to extend a warm welcome to you. And if you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, I would love it if you would support my channel by hitting the subscribe button so you can be notified of my future DIY craft videos. Once both racetracks are painted and dried, we can decorate the racetracks with whatever embellishments you have on hand. I will be using some silver rhinestone ribbon cut to size, covering both sides of each racetrack top and bottom. And as you watch me apply the rhinestone ribbon, you will notice that I use my hot glue gun to anchor the ribbon on one side and then I use white glue for the length of the ribbon. The hot glue dries almost instantly and helps prevent the ribbon from moving around while I apply white glue to the rest of the racetrack to adhere the rest of the ribbon to. This will ensure a smooth finish without lumps that the hot glue would leave behind. The white glue will also dry clear. And here I'm working on embellishing the back side of the racetrack using the same glue method. Next, we will work on decorating the lantern base. For this, we will take the chocolate box cover and embellish it with some craft paper cut to size to cover each of the four sides of the cover, as well as the bottom of the cover.
each of the four corners, we will cut a strip of rhinestone ribbon to cover the seam. To further embellish the cover, I have also added four rows of mini mirror tiles, two rows facing the exterior and the other two rows lining the interior. I think this additional embellishment will give our lantern an extra boost of glam factor. Next, we will make legs for the lantern base. To do that, remove the ornament cap from four Christmas ornament balls, then snip off the tips to leave a smooth, flat surface. Add some hot glue into the opening of each ornament cap and place an acrylic diamond gem inside with the pointy end going inside. Once all four legs are made, it's time to adhere one onto each of the four corners of the bottom of the box cover. For this, apply a small dollop of hot glue to the flat end of each leg, and then carefully adhere each onto the box cover corners. Make sure when applying the legs that they are applied straight and securely. With the lantern base complete, it's time to insert the decorated racetracks into the base, one at a time. You can see that the racetrack pieces are very flexible and will bend to the shape required of the lantern. This is what the lantern looks like so far, but we are not done yet. The final step, which is optional, is to make a topper for the lantern. For this, I'm placing another homemade crystal knob to the top using a larger acrylic crystal gem. If you prefer, you can also use a crystal doorknob available from Amazon. And here you can see I'm placing a small round frameless mirror inside the lantern base where my LED candle will go. And here's the final look for our racetrack lantern. Comment down below and let me know whether you have tried making this lantern. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share with other creative gems. Also, remember to hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload another DIY Glam project. I hope to see you all soon!